After last night's episode, I think I really realized that Ryan is a people pleaser and Gypsy is a narcissist. And Ryan genuinely seemed like he wanted to see her do well. But the crazy part was, is that Gypsy created the insecurity in the relationship that they have. And then flipped the entire script on him and tried to make him look like the villain. I don't know. It's just, I think a lot of people that have dealt with narcissists watching last night's episode really seemed kind of triggering. And I think mainly because when you've dealt with someone that was narcissistic, you watch them and it's like watching some of your life kind of play out. You know what I'm saying? Um, because just like even the way she set that camera up, thinking that that whole interaction was going to make Ryan look bad. And in her mind, that interaction made Ryan look bad when I feel like he was pretty calm. Could you imagine caring for someone and wanting to be with someone that legitimately was intentionally setting you up the whole time? I can't imagine how Ryan feels watching this. I don't think I'll ever think Gypsy's a good person. I just feel like she set him up the same way she set up Nicholas Cotijan, the same way she villainized her mom, and the same way she's villainized everybody else in her life. Even when I think about the interactions that I have had with Rachel, her old best friend, like the stuff she says is very similar to what she tries to say about other people. I think she has the same habits and she's very manipulative, diabolical. <sighs> she just isn't a good person, in my opinion. And also her outlandish social media behavior really kind of reminds me a lot of with her and Facebook and Nicholas Gorejan. If you guys really remember in the interrogation where Nicholas Gorejan mentioned that she had so many social media names that he couldn't really remember. Doesn't that kind of seem like what's going on right now and like those outlandish posts like what she did before i just don't think this girl has changed and i think a lot of people keep saying oh she suffered all this abuse now to an extent yes right but also most of her life was like traveling to disney having people wait on her hand and foot um you know she faked a lot of this stuff like it's it wasn't just her mom she was 23 years old when this happened and i think a lot of people really aren't like really clicking to that. Furthermore, I feel like there's just so much going on with this that people are really missing the habits that she did before she was locked up and she's continued to do them and people are overlooking. Every narcissist has been a victim. In fact, everybody in life has been a victim of something. And just because you have been a victim of something doesn't mean that it is okay for you to become a predator. And I think that at the end of the day, mo a lot of people are, are condoning her behavior because they're like, oh, she, she had a very traumatic past. Yeah, but who hasn't? You don't get an excuse for poor behavior because you were a victim. You don't. You do not. And that's kind of where I feel like that accountability aspect is being lost in this. And this episode, to me, was just, it just made her look worse and worse. It just shows the true her. And I'm happy it's coming out because I've said this all along. She's not a good person. Anyway, y'all, this was just my thoughts. I felt like coming on here and telling you guys. I hope you guys have a great day.